So let's talk about probability in the context of marketing. Think about a casino. Each game you play at a casino has a statistical probability against you winning, and it's enormous. But what does probability have to do with marketing? Well, most businesses don't consider probability because they're so focused on dealing with profitability. And the latter is important, don't get me wrong. However, what if we could hold the balance of power with our consumers? Probability means we are giving ourselves the winning edge. Now, how do we do that, though? Well, let's look at the ways in which we can increase our chances. For instance, in the awareness phase, if we have a strong brand position, we can bypass both this phase and the consideration phase and move straight to a conversion. This means that while our competitors are convincing people to do business with them, we've already passed go and collected $200, probability in our favour. What about our website sales? If we understand user experience, our target markets, the way that they like to navigate through the site, if we've utilised tools like eye tracking software to understand what people are interested in, we can adjust our site to suit the user, increasing our probability. What about customer retention, which ultimately builds sustainability in our business? If we work with our consumers to find out likes and dislikes, involve them in product development, communicate with them regularly, know the target market within our customer base and the correlating psychography, again, you guessed it, it increases our chances of probability. So what this means is just don't think about obtaining customers. Look at the input within the process and make sure at each touch point that the probability is in your favour.